اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہی از پروسیس میکرو ماڈل ون ود کیٹیگوریکل ماڈریٹر ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لک ان ٹو ہاؤ کیٹیگوریکل ویریبل کیڈ ماڈریٹ اے ریلیشن شپ بٹوین این آئی وی اینڈ ڈی وی ناؤ لیٹس ایزیوم دس از دا کانسیپچوئل ڈائیگرام فار اوور ماڈل اینڈ دس از دا اسٹیٹسٹیکل ڈائیگرام وی ہیو گاٹ ون آئی وی ایکس اینڈ وی ہیو گاٹ اے ڈی وی وائی اینڈ اوور ماڈریٹر ہیئر ان دس کیس از ملٹی کیٹیگوریکل ایم ود کے نمبر آف کیٹیگریز ناؤ ون پروڈکٹر ون ماڈریٹر اینڈ ون آؤٹ کم ناؤ ان دس کیس وی آر ایزیومنگ دیٹ اوور ایکس از کانٹینیوس اوور وائی از کانٹینیوس اینڈ our m has multiple categories i've got one variable that is my iv as commitment my moderating variable is bank size that is small medium and large size banks and my dependent variable is organizational performance and i would like to know whether the impact of commitment on organizational performance is moderated by the size of the bank Now, how do we run the analysis? Again, we have to go to analyze, regression and process macro. And in there, I will choose these options. How to do it? Let's do it in SPSS. Analyze, regression, process macro. And let's add my Y variable, that is organizational performance. My independent variable, commitment. My moderating variable is bank size. Here it is. Moderator variable W. Now this is model 1 again. So make sure model 1 is selected. Let's go to options. Let's say we want to generate code for visualizing our interactions. Let's say we only want our continuous variables to be standardized. Do not need anything else. You cannot generate this for categorical moderators. Just press continue. And again, one more thing, go to multi-categorical. Now, in this case, our moderator is multi-categorical and we are going to use indicator coding system, that is a dummy coding, where one of the categories serve as a reference category, whereas all other categories are compared to the reference category. How it works, we are going to look into this. Just press continue. Nothing else to do, just press OK. Now let's wait for our output. Now here is our output. And look at this. Your x variable, your, your y variable, your x variable, your moderator, your sample size. And this is the dummy coding. How it works, I'm just going to brief you about it. Now this w1, w2, obviously we had three categories. So we had or we used two dummy variables in the model. just as we did earlier in some of the videos where i explained how to use categorical variables the link will be shared in the description if you want to know more about how to generate dummy coded variables now all this output here is being explained in greater detail in the slides so once you have done this we have to obviously select the moderator as multi categorical And from the options, I'm just going to generate the code for visualizing interactions. Nothing else needed. And here is the first part of the output. Now, what does this mean? Now, this is the description of the model along with different variables where Y is your dependent variable, X is your independent variable and W is your moderating variable, which is categorical. Now, bank is categorized as small, medium and large size banks. coding of the categorical w variable for the analysis so what's the coding bank 1 so if both w1 and w2 are zero this means the bank is small sized bank if w1 is 1 then this means medium sized bank if w2 is 1 this means large sized bank here in this case the reference category is the first category that is your small sized bank So W1 means that you are comparing the medium sized banks. Why medium? Because W1 here is 1. So medium sized banks are compared to small sized bank. W2 means that large sized banks are compared to small sized bank. Here it should have been large. 
So this is how you code your categorical variables in his process macro. Moving on. Now this is the second part of the output. If you look here, this is your R that is a correlation R square and overall the model is significant. So overall we can say that 41.15% change in organizational performance is being accounted by these four exogenous variables where W1 is the impact of medium sized banks in comparison to small sized banks on organizational performance. Is it significant? No, it's not significant. W2, the impact of large sized banks on organizational performance in comparison to small sized banks. Is it significant? Yes, it's significant. Interaction is significant for medium sized banks, whereas it is insignificant for the interaction of large sized banks and commitment. Now, how do we interpret this? Differences in organizational performance between medium and small size banks are insignificant. Look at this W1. W1 shows medium size banks. Now, medium size banks have a higher organizational performance. Why am I saying that this is higher? Why am I saying that medium banks have a higher organizational performance? Why? Because there is a positive sign with it. So, medium sized banks have a higher organizational performance in comparison to small sized banks. But is it significantly different? No, it's not significantly different. Why? Because the p-value is greater than 0.05. So medium sized banks have a higher OP in comparison to small sized banks, but this is insignificant. Differences in OP between large and small banks. So look at this, W2 is large banks. Now differences in OP between large and small banks is significant. Is it significant? Yes. So which one has a stronger organizational performance? Small size banks have a stronger organizational performance. Why? Because W2 signifies large banks and there is a negative sign with the coefficient. So this means the performance of large size banks is weaker in comparison to the small size banks. Large size banks have a lower organizational performance in comparison to small size banks. Now we can obviously check this through mean interpretation as well. Now have a look here. So if you go to analyze, compare means, means, OP goes in here, the bank goes in here and look at this. Look at the organizational performance for small size banks, 5.21. Now this is higher in comparison to large size banks. Look at the organizational performance of the medium size bank, sorry for the typo, 5.53. Now this is, what do you call it, better than the small size banks. So here the differences between small and large size banks is significant as shown in here. Now the mean did show us that small size banks have a higher OP in comparison to large size banks. In this example, one interaction that is interaction one, this one here is significant. So impact of commitment on performance in medium sized banks. So what is this interaction one? This is for W1. Look at this. Interaction 1 is W1 into commitment, that is medium sized banks and commitment and the impact is evaluated on organizational performance. So the impact of the interaction between the medium sized banks and commitment is significant. But this interaction, this impact is lower in comparison to small sized banks. Why am I showing that it is lower? Because there is a negative sign to it. Look at this other one. However, the impact of commitment on performance in large size banks is not significantly different, although it is lower. The impact of commitment on performance in large size banks is lower in comparison to the impact of commitment on performance in small sized banks. But although it is lower, it is insignificant. Now test of unconditional interaction, look at this. This shows that the R square do significantly change with the inclusion of interaction term. So we can say, yes, the size of the bank moderate the relationship between commitment and organizational performance. Now look at the conditional effects. For bank one, look at this conditional effect. Bank one or bank size one is small sized banks. So small sized banks have a higher impact of commitment on performance. Whereas 
the effect is considerably low in medium sized banks and it is lower in large sized banks as well but in the medium sized banks it is insignificant whereas in small and large sized banks the impact of commitment on performance is significant now overall yes there is a moderating role and this interaction here with a negative sign is obviously telling us that yes there is a significant difference in the impact of commitment on performance between different banks now here the comparison is between the small size banks that is your reference category with your medium and large size banks now when small size banks are compared with the medium size banks the difference is significant but with the large size banks the difference is insignificant overall yes there is a significant moderation so your hypothesis is accepted now obviously we have just looked into this uh, the conditional effect shows that small and large size banks the effect of commitment on organizational performance is significant whereas for medium sized banks there is no significant impact of commitment on performance now in order to draw your chart what you need to do is you simply copy this text where is this text here it is if you go back up here and come back here now you can copy this text here copy go to file new syntax and here you will paste it just select it and you can run it for your model or rather graph so here is your graph although this does not make much sense but what i have done is i've joined these lines to make it more meaningful now here it is now look at this this red is medium sized banks now in medium sized banks although with the increase of commitment there is not much of an increase in performance but in small and medium or rather in small and large size banks we can see that there the, the gradient is much steeper and this steeper gradient gradient is telling us that with an increase in commitment there is a sharp increase in the performance so based on these results we can say that and the r square change that was significant with the inclusion of the moderating variable we can say that yes the bank size does moderate the relationship between commitment and organizational performance thank you very much